I'm Ababanis Kenjana. I'm here from East London. Um, the founder of Kids Pass is my aunt, Aunt Epsi. Yeah, that's how I was able to know about Kids Pass and to chase my dreams of being an actress. Yeah. It's actually very exciting. Um, I am loving the energy around here. And yeah, I learned directing. Uh, to act, uh, I learned how to engage with people mm. and how to make friends. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think I have the knowledge to be able to act. My name is Uzi, my surname is Kuzayo. I live in Forest Hills, Kloof. And my mom somehow let me join Kids Pass to to make a, me a better actor. I'm enjoying it great. Yeah. And I want to be a better performance, make my mom proud. And I've learned acting. Um, Uh, my name is Smusso Kuzayo, a writer and a director. So I was invited to Kids Pass uh, Film Festival uh, to do a direct, director's workshop so, and also present my short film, The Letter Reader. Engaging with the kids uh, through the workshop that I was running, uh, I found it to be so inspiring, you know, because of I live here. Uh, being very much inspired, you know, by engaging with the kids. Because of usually when you do sessions like this, uh, you are expected to impart more knowledge, you know, but I, I feel like I walk away as the one that has learned more from engaging with them. So, yeah, and, and I think that I must commend, you know, Umam uh, Trapsi, you know, for this initiative that she's running, because I, I kept saying to the kids that, you know, I wish I had learned, you know, what uh, they are learning now, you know, at their age, you know, and I think that they will go far, you know, with uh, the workshops and the things that she exposed, she exposed the kids. Uh, too. So, so initially when we spoke with Umem Kaps, you know, I was only supposed to do an online uh, director's masterclass, you know, but engaging with her further, you know, on the phone, I had her passion, you know, and, uh, and her drive, you know, so that inspired me, you know, to say if I see someone uh, that goes, you know, an extra mile in making sure, you know, that uh, the kids, you know, get educated, ed educated when it comes to the arts, that also inspired me to go the extra mile. So I said to her, you know, I would like to come and engage the kids instead of, you know, uh, being separated, you know, uh, being, uh, it being run, you know, virtually, you know. So, but also coming here, you know, I felt that it will be unfair if I just present this and walk away, you know. So I offered myself uh, to mentor some of the kids and also help them, you know, in terms of if they want to make films, you know, uh, mentor them maybe if they want to apply for funding you know and things like that because of usually it's things that we get exposed to you know when we get older you know but I, I feel that it is important for them to start applying you know, at this age you know so hence you know I'm extending myself to help you know with regards to that so I've never seen something like this you know and I've never come across something like this so I think this will inspire I hope it inspires you know, more people to come up with initiatives like this. Uh, like I say, which usually we get exposed to such information and uh, 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 or films, you know, at uh, an older age, you know. So for me, like I'm so inspired by what Umam Kabsi has started. Like I say, it's the first of its kind and I can only hope uh, uh, that we have more programs like this around the country. So uh, the experience of Presenting a letter reader to this audience uh, meant so much, you know, for me because of uh, before, like I, I presented it, it to uh, an older audience, you know, and uh, you, you'd get, you know, certain reactions, you know, and I was fortunate enough to also present it in Los Angeles, you know, last year. So, but for me, I think presenting it here was more special, you know, because of uh, the audience that was here. Most of them are. Uh, Siabonga's age, you know, the protagonist in the film, you know, so because of I've always wondered, you know, what uh, uh, 
kids would react, you know, to a film like this and also to have their understanding, you know. So that this gives, gave me an opportunity to engage, you know, with the kids, especially when I asked them about the theme, you know. So it was so refreshing, you know, to uh, listen to their interpretation, you know, to the film and some of the lessons that they got from the film. So for me, having presented these films in different uh, platforms and different audiences, this one will be so close to my heart. Like I say, Uguti, you know, like for me it was so special. I'm inspired by the kids, you know, their innocence, you know, their passion. And also because of uh, the stirring, you know, what would say, the stirring of the protagonist in the film. He's a kid, you know, it's their age. So for me it was, you know, such a heartwarming uh, moment, you know, for me to engage with people that are our protagonist age. So, but the one that I would like to single out is uh, one that was asked by one of the kids when she asked me about you know, uh, the choice uh, that we made uh, with regards to the scene where uh, Siabonga's mom is talking to his grandmother, you know, and Siabonga is standing by the door listening to the conversation. So, but in the scene, you don't see the grandmother, you only see her shadow. You know, so the question was around the choice, you know, Uguti, why did we go for such an angle, you know, because he even said, Uguti, maybe we should have gone for a better angle. Maybe better angle for her meant, uh, you know, coming this way, you know, to be able to see the grandmother also, you know. But those are stylistic choice, you know, because of, I, I think I started the uh, session with uh, interpretation, you know, that as, as directors would interpret the script differently. So I was uh, so inspired, you know, to get such a question because of already you are having someone that would have interpreted the script, you know, in a different way, meaning that if she was to shoot the letter reader, that scene would have been different because of she would have framed, you know, that scene in a very different way, you know. But I went further to explain uh, the choices and also uh, give them information about, you know, the choices that each and every choice that you make as a director has to be motivated, you know, why the shadow and why we didn't see the grandmother, you know, as I was saying, Uti, I wanted to introduce the grandmother later, you know, because of, for me, that scene was uh, Siawonga's scene and his mother, you know. So the grandmother, yes, we hear what she says, but in that scene she's not important, so you only feel her through her voice and through her shade. Mbulelo uh, Msongelwa, born M. Tanzani, a stand-up comedian, voiceover artist, MC, a proud owner of uh, Stand Up Mbu, and I had the honor today of, of, of MCing uh, Kids Pass. Um, and for me, this is the first time I've ever done something like this where it is involving kids, uh, something that, 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 that I really love because, because growing up, Tina, in the same vicinity, we didn't have those opportunities. So it's nice to, to, to be part of something that, 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 that can only grow because it's kids uh, and give them that opportunity. Uh, they heard about me from, from, from the OC, uh, oh, Mr. Luz Zippo, um, and I've, I'm sure they saw me on TV with Trevor Noah. So, uh, like I said, it's, been a, it's, it's a real honor to, 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 to be involved in this. And I hope it only grows strength to strength and that every year they can call me back to do this because this is amazing. Um, it's really amazing to come back, uh, living in Joburg right now, and do something like this in the Eastern Cape, especially East London where I was born. Um, uh, because mainly for us, Every time an artist in our generation was good at anything, then the first thing they tell you is, hey, uh, why don't you go to Joburg? Uh, uh, every single person, even people from here, they will tell you, but, yo, you, there's nothing here for you, you must go to Joburg. So for us to create our own industry and for me to be part of that, to set a footstep in that uh, uh, planning and, 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 and uh, uh, I guess, execution uh, means a lot to me. Uh, and my kids as well, because my kids mean, that means now uh, they can stay here uh, because there will be an industry. For me, uh, performing to this type of audience for like the first time, there was type of some challenges, but I, I like to, to, to always um, perform to my audience. So for me, it doesn't matter who's listening, I will, I will, I will, I will gauge who they are and then I will speak to them. Uh, it's a very important thing to be able to always perform to whoever your audience is at that time. So tell them the same jokes, but put it in, in, in a way that they'll understand. 
Uh, for instance, if this was adults, it would have been the same jokes, but I would have told them in an adult way that adults can understand. So I enjoyed the challenge. Uh, but kids, kids, kids are kids, you know. You can tickle them if you want, and they'll laugh, and everyone else will laugh. So it was, it was an interesting challenge, but uh, one that I that, that that I looked forward to. And uh, if I do say so, I think I did pretty well. So uh, uh, I'd like to do more of these, uh, get that practice. Uh, but it was, it was, it was amazing, man. It was really amazing. kids pass I was literally scrolling through Instagram and going through like normal things on my mom's phone and I saw kids pass and actually I realized the creator of the kids pass is actually Aunt Kapsi which is actually one of my aunts who's friends with my mom so my mom also wanted me to go into this industry because I'm a very creative thinker I love doing things of, such as acting watching direct films and actually I want to be part of the I want to be part of the creative industry and in that field because I believe that young children and children like us are very inspirational and we can inspire other kids to actually say, you can actually do it. So guys, um, right now we are at the entertainment um, arcade. Uh, we're just here to play some games, you know, just to burn a few energy off us. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Kids Pass. We all say Kids Pass. Yay! Um, hi, my name is Uyanda Mavuso. I'm from Joburg, Brabant. Um, how I have about kids pass? I was scrolling through Instagram and saw a photo of Sony. I was interested and as soon as I found out it's about acting and presenting all those things I like, I joined. Um, during the workshops, the crew has been so kind. So I'm really enjoying my time in kids pass. Um, we're in this arcade and it's so fun. It's super fun. We've been playing games just for our entertainment and our time has kids pass has been marvelous. Um, I've learned I've been in a producer's master class workshop. I learned how it goes around when we're making a movie. Hello, I'm Mathe Gonya. I'm from East London. Hi, I'm Mathe Gonya and I'm from East London. How I saw Kids Pass was on Instagram and I was scrolling through Instagram and I was bored and I found out about Kids Pass. I wanted to join because I really wanted to act for a really long time. And I was actually quite surprised when it was in East London because there's literally nothing so much interesting, uh, like, interesting in East London. In the workshop, I've learned how to fill in my resume for the for acting auditions. Um, I've learned different parts like acting like uh, the producers and directors and their duties. Yeah. Kids Pass is uh, it's fun. I really love it. Um, I recommend in, in, in anyone to join. It's really nice. Fun. Um, I'm Smobangai Isa and I'm from Durban in Woodlands and um, yeah I heard about this um, campaign from like the Durban activists yeah so yeah as um, I heard about it I got more interested and like I saw opportunity like that comes and goes you know it's one it's once in a lifetime you know so yeah I just grabbed that opportunity I mean like why not it's not like for fame or anything, but you know, it's just, it's like getting more like experience, you know? So yeah, that's why I joined it. Okay, in the workshop, I did enjoy um, how we all communicate and like we get well. And yeah, like I learned good team opportunities, you know, as I was saying like last time, that um, it's once in a lifetime opportunity, so you know, so yeah. Um, my name is Golata Machikija and um, I'm from East London and I heard about Kids Pass um, through my mom. Oh, mom Kapsu called my mom and she was explaining about um, this new thing called Kids Pass and then um, I got to speak to mom Kapsu on the phone 
and then she was telling me about it and everything and then I was so interested because she said there were so many different aspects about this agency you know it didn't only cover acting there were so many other things that they do for us that groom our talent and all of that you know and then they really they give us um, opportunities to explore like different talents that we have and all of that and they they also it's like they give everyone a chance at Kids Pass that's what I really like about it and uh, yeah you really you get more than what you put in because you only pay like a once-off registration fee and then you get so much more out of that so yeah that's what I, I like about Kids Pass and how I heard about it uh, the workshop, it was a um, director's workshop where we learned how to direct a movie and everything about a movie from the director's perspective. And um, yeah, that's basically what it was. And then obviously I'm um, the director of the movie that we were screening, went into detail about what was happening in the movie and how he was directing everything, the casting and the preparation and all of that. It was really interesting. I, I enjoyed it. Um, um, I really I enjoyed meeting other people from the um, different provinces as well because the thing is in Eastern Cape as well we all know that especially in East London there's not many agencies that focus on acting and television and film and all of that stuff so I really I really do enjoy that and I'm really happy that Mum Kapsi has started something like this for us because really in the Eastern Cape we don't have what Joburg has you know so I think this really is the beginning of creations. Um, hi, my name is Ayete Lakla. I'm 16, I'm from East London. Um, I grew up here kind of. I've been around South Africa as a well. whole. But I heard about Kids Pass through my friend, actually, Ukolata. And um, she called me and she said I should join, so I did. And my mom also is a part of the core team, so she also pushed me to doing it. And I've only been here for like a couple, like a month or so, and I've enjoyed it a lot. It's very inspiring and it's very empowering and it teaches me a lot about who I want to be in the future, minus the acting side. It's it's putting my place on the map in sort of a way. And um, being a part of Kids Pass gives me um, something to look forward to every single day and it breaks my routine a bit. Um, I'm really enjoying myself and today we had our first day of our film festival which was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to see different aspects of this, this career that we want to get into, whether it be directing, acting, whatever. We got to see it from a different perspective, from the, like a director's point of view and how, how to navigate it and whether it just helps us when we get to that point in our in a point in our lives where we have to come across these challenges or come across this um, this point in our life where we have to do what we have to do. Um, a lot of fun. I like, I, uh, I'm not a very social person. Um, I only really ever talk to the people who are very close to me and basically that's it. But meeting new people like put me out of my comfort zone and I think that's what Kids Pass is trying to do, get us out of our comfort zones. And I've really enjoyed, I've made new friends, which is so great. We love making friends. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, meeting new people.